Hey everybody, welcome to another one of my videos. So today I have no makeup on, my hair is crazy and I thought I would come on here and film a get ready with me style of video as I get ready for this evening. I've already been to the barn today to see my horse and stuff. Now I'm ready to put my makeup on so thank you for watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Smashbox Primerizer. So yeah, what I'm going to be getting ready for is my boyfriend and I are on a Thursday night bowling league and well, it's Thursday. And I mean, I think bowling league starts technically at 6.30 but we usually get there around 7 so, whoa. And it's only just now four o'clock and I already went and rode my horse this morning <clears throat> well this after early afternoon I naturally like my makeup to look good when I go out in public to bowling and stuff so I didn't put makeup on when I went to the barn like I normally do because I'm trying to wait to have my longevity to have longevity increased for my makeup for tonight for bowling using that as a mirror. I have this big mirror here, but... Okay, first things first, I... am a ditz and forgot I'm going to clip my hair up with these dry bar clips. You can use any clips you want. Honestly, y'all, I have... I have some crappy... junky ones that my boyfriend gave me. He got in a set. But... These ones just hold my hair better, but they crease my hair. Yeah, really any clips crease my hair like a son of a bitch. My hair is annoying. I don't get how these people on YouTube just put their hair up in clips and then have no problem. Mine, it looks like I had my hair up in clips after I had my hair up in clips. So the foundation, I look ridiculous, <sighs> whatever. So the foundation I'm going to use today is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. My accurate shade snow. So I don't want anybody to get the wrong impression when I say that I'm on a bowling league. Oh my gosh. Because although I am on a bowling league, <laughs> I suck. Not that I suck, I just am not that good. I am getting better. The more bowling I do, I'm getting better. However, I average, my average is literally like a 74 right now. Now, I know most people who would be going to do something like this would not be putting makeup on to go do it. However, you know, a lot of people don't put makeup on to go to their horse, go ride their horse at the barn. And I do that. So, all right, well, that was fun. I think you're still crooked, okay. Uh, my SD card was full and I did not realize it and it got full while I was literally putting foundation on and so I didn't want it to dry up or get weird so I just patted that out and then I went and deleted everything. Um, I also got hungry, so Fruit Loops. No, it's not Fruit Loops. Frosted Flakes with marshmallows. <laughs> and I finished putting this on. Beauty Blender, of course. <clears throat> now I can finally continue. Because I do need to get this, I do need to get ready. All right, after foundation, I'm going to put my Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. I love the tip of this. I love the tip of it. I always feel so cool when you put it on your face. Like literally cold. Ah, 
that was so annoying. Scored in my eye. I feel like I don't put on as much concealer as the average person. Like under my eyes. I feel like it's really, really not enough. And I usually end up having too much under my eyes. And I have, I end up spreading it onto my eyelids to use for a primer instead of a primer, which I shouldn't do because I have primers that I need to use and use up and get out of my collection because I have so many and they just sit, but what happened again? I'm gonna have to use this as my concealer. I'm gonna use this as a primer because I have overestimated how much I needed under my eye. I do that literally all the time. I have very creasy skin very very creasy skin it's annoying it's because i have very oily skin pretty much any foundation or concealer i use no matter how good quality of a product it is <clears throat> it's gonna crease on me i just have to counteract it by setting it and i have to do it really quickly too like as soon as i'm done blending it out pretty much i have to put some powder on it because if I don't goes to hell in a handbasket really really fast. Today I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me pressed powder. I kind of rediscovered this in my collection. You can see the rings a little bit down in the pan so I kind of want to use it. I like hitting pan on stuff it's satisfying. pat out these creases that have already formed in the concealer because as I just said I am very creasy and blabbing more right now. I'm just using a dry real technique sponge. I suppose you could use your wet beauty blender but I'm just weird and paranoid of sticking a wet beauty blender in a well, a damp beauty blender in a powder pan. Uh, a little afraid to do that. Patting out the other eye. Okay. <clears throat> Get rid of forehead creases. Smile line creases. <clears throat> Again, crazy. I'm oily. I'm gonna do the same thing I just did to my under eyes and my eyelids. In those creasy areas. Just to help lock it in for longer. And then I'm gonna use this Real Techniques buffing brush, I think is what it's called. Set the rest of my face. I like a little bit more of a dense brush to do this because I feel like it actually applies the powder. Like I actually accomplish setting my face instead of just lightly not setting my face. Lightly kind of setting my face but still not totally setting it. I can't believe what a long process it was just now to try and start filming, to start doing this. That's annoying. That's annoying. Can't imagine how like the bigger YouTubers feel when they have like actual lighting and stuff involved with doing this stuff. Stop using this, use my mirror. Alright, for bronzing and contouring, I'm going to go into my Smashbox Kelly Contour Palette with my Wet n Wild Contour Brush. The name is all like worn off. Look at how ridiculous. That's how much I use this. I'm going to go in with this shade for contour first. I 
feel like I spent so much time blending. But I guess that's part of what it is, right? Blending. I don't know how my lighting is actually going to be right here. I actually don't know if it's going to be good at all. This might be a junk video. I don't know. I don't have lighting. I have my overhead light and my outside light for my window right there. But I don't have a table or anything right in front of my window. My table is right here. Not in front of my window. Working with what I got. Hmm. What I think I was saying before my camera so rudely interrupted and was shut off because my SD card was full. Um, I'm going in with this shade right here on top of the contour shade that I just put on. What I think I was talking about before was most people don't <clears throat> most people don't wear makeup to go do things like bowling leagues or go to the barn to ride their horse. Stuff like that. But I do. I do. I just like to feel put together. I don't know. I don't know. I have no excuses. I have no excuses. But yeah, I have like a 74 bowling average right now. <laughs> Not good at all. Not something to brag about. Just saying. I'm getting better. I'm slowly getting better. So I'm going to go in with the contour shade and the bronze shade. I'm going to go under the chin here. Kind of more of a social time. I am not the most social of a person. So this is like maxing me out with my socializing. But my boyfriend loves it and I'm trying to be more social. <laughs> well, trying to not to be more social, not trying to change who I am, but I'm just trying to get out of my comfort zone sometimes. You know, I actually just realized I was going to use this Too Faced blush, this Peach My Cheeks blush in the shade Pinch My Peach. That falls out. See, so watch. That's why I put my finger over it. I was going to use this cream to powder blush. However, I have already put all my powder on. Not into ruining my makeup that much just to try and use this. <laughs> So I need to pick out a different blush. I've decided on using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in Peachy Love. I'm gonna use this one right here. This is like my favorite shade. Like my favorite shade out of all the blush I own. I'm gonna use this Real Techniques brush. Blush and contour and bronzer feel like take me the longest. Those I feel like I spent 17 years blending out. I suck at using little things like these. <coughs> For my own personal future record, use your damn big mirror, Angela. Or use the fucking viewfinder. more hassle than it's worth. Cool. I am going to go into this hourglass. This is this year's 2018 hourglass. The, this is this year's ambient lighting edit 2018 edition.
These are so freaking pretty and this bronzer is surprisingly workable on my extremely pale skin. Which doesn't always happen because bronzers and palettes don't usually work for me. But I'm gonna take this bronzer and put it over top of what I already have. Just top it off. I think it's still raining outside. Now I'm going to take this blush shade right here. Put this over top. If you see the trend here, I'm using this kind of as a topper for everything. I like using it alone, but I have favorites that I already like. But I like this too, so I'm kind of using them both. Like I'm using all the products. <laughs> all the products, all the time. That blush shade is like my favorite. Okay, so I'm having really awesome luck trying to record this today. Um, camera likes to stop recording at like 23 minutes and like 50 seconds is stupid. So I'm going to use this middle powder, this lighter one right here, with this big fluffy Real Techniques brush. Put it under my eyes. In the middle of the forehead, in the nose. Sure. Now I'm going to use this one everywhere else. I'm going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm kind of weird. I get into routines and habits about doing things. And that's kind of what I've fallen into for doing my makeup is doing makeup in a certain order and certain steps. This is where I'm at. I would also like to say I don't understand how people on YouTube talk while they put their setting spray on. Because that shit gets it in your mouth, and I tell you what, it's not always the best. Especially alcohol-based setting sprays, which I know everybody is against and doesn't like, but... I just pat it in because I don't like to wait for it to dry. Use this Wet n Wild brush. I think technically it's a concealer brush is what they market it for on the internet. But I use it for this Anastasia Amrezi highlight. Honestly, it just picks it up the best. I heard this is coming back in December. It's going to be re-released at Ulta. Y'all need to pick that up if you haven't. I like putting it on right after the setting spray. Doesn't make much of a difference, but I notice it does make a little bit of a difference. You probably can't even see anything in this camera. Probably looks like I'm not even putting anything on. That's because I don't have good lighting. Tip of the nose. I also highlight up here because I have a weird annoying bump right here on my nose. So I don't like to highlight the whole bridge, the whole entire nose. I just go for up here and then down here. That's already protruding enough. It already sticks out enough. What time is it? We're doing okay on time. Fucking for once. Okay is a very relative term. So I'm going to go on to doing my eyeshadow. Today I'm going to use my Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. It's 
it smells so good i can smell it just from opening it, it smells so good i am i feel like i say this to myself all the time i'm going to try and do a very very subtle not extra over the top eyeshadow look today i'm going to try and just go very very light with it does it work every time i say that i'm going to do that no sometimes i end up with glitter all over everywhere not the point I'm gonna go into looking at my cookie. The name is so weird. I have so many forehead wrinkles. I have a lot of forehead wrinkles and I have a lot of eyelid wrinkles. So I need to stretch my eyelids out to get a smooth easily a smooth blended application on my eyeshadow and to do that I have to stretch my forehead and it makes my million bazillion wrinkles show up on my forehead I love it <laughs> And I go into the shade Figgy Pudding right here. It's a purple one. I'm so paranoid of getting too much pigment. I take literally the littlest amount. And then I tap it off. with like every eyeshadow. This isn't an overly pigmented palette. It's not a bad palette. It's not overly pigmented though. I don't need to be this cautious. It's not like it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills formula where it's like super, super powdery. I'm just paranoid. You know, there's just no rhyme or reason for it, but like right here, I don't think you can see it in this video, but it's like patchy. I blend and I blend and I blend and I put it out. I put down pigment. And then once I finally get it to a point where I'm like okay with where I'm at with how thick or how dark the pigment is, it turns into like squiggly pigment or squiggly patchiness. It's annoying. And it doesn't do it all the time. It doesn't do it on every single time I use this palette. It's only on um, generally one eye when I am doing it. I can fix it. You just gotta put a little more eyeshadow down. But that's annoying. Why is it doing that? Is it just because it's not as quality? Is it because it's a Christmas palette? And Christmas palettes are never as good quality as regular palettes from makeup lines are? Is that what's happening to me? I don't hate this palette. I hate that it does that to one of my eyeballs because yesterday it did it to this eye. Today it's doing it to this one. I used the same powder too. Trying to keep it light. Now I'm going to go back into that light shade right here. Back into this one. Looking at my cookie and I'm going to go the lower lash line. I'm going to go into that purple shade again, Figgy Pudding, for the outer edge of the lower lash line. Blend it into the outer corner. 
even though I have really watery eyes and it's gonna go away in no time. Not for lack of effort. Some days I don't even know why I put anything on my lower lash lines or in the corner right here because I have such watery eyes. I'm going to go into spiked eggnog right here. Spiked eggnog. I think partially why I don't use, why I don't do light, no makeup makeup looks, or like no, no eyeshadow makeup looks, I feel like if I'm spending that much time to make it look like I don't have eyeshadow on, but I do have eyeshadow on, I want to wear eyeshadow, damn it, like, I don't want to go out of my way to look like I don't have eyeshadow on. I'm okay having it look like I have eyeshadow on. Okay. Because it's never enough, I'm going to go in with this Frostbite Me shade right here. This kind of swatches like garbage. Like on your arm. Um, it doesn't really apply that nice either, but it's good for a topper. It does a good job at adding a little bit of shimmer. A little bit of shine. You just have to... Take your time, work it in. It really applies like garbage too. If you're looking to buy this palette, make sure you double check all your other palettes and see if there's other palettes that have similar color schemes like if you're if you're in this for the purple the pinky themes um be a little more realistic about what you're buying because the quality of this isn't that awesome like at all it's okay and um <clears throat> I don't hate it and I am going to use it because I already own it I already bought it so if I could go back I don't think I don't think I buy it again I'm not I mean I'm not mad enough to to return it I'm not mad enough to return it it's just not not the nicest quality. I mean, smells good. That's probably my favorite part of that palette. Smoothing out the forehead wrinkles again. I decided to go with this Urban Decay liner in the shade Junkie. It's like a pretty blue, green, sparkly. put this on the waterline. I don't think I actually said that. But that's what I'm doing. I might regret this. But I'm into using color liner. Can y'all see a difference? I'm into using color liner on my eyeliner on my lower lash line I just especially when I do a look like this with no color well like it's purple but it's like 
not like sparkly or any bright color or anything like that so I like to I like to put a pop of color on the lower lash line this is a, a lot more blue than it looks in the swatch or in the stick it's coming off a lot more blue on my eyeballs at least in this mirror I don't I don't hate it so far we'll see I also brought this this little mini Urban Decay liner in Space Dust I got this one from it's actually this year's eyeliner kit came with five little eyeliners I brought this one because I brought this one out because I wasn't sure how that eyeliner was gonna work and if it was gonna be too dark because what I do when that happens I have this liner and I also have a silver Anastasia Beverly Hills liner that I just I put on the inside of the lower lash line here just to try and help counteract and brighten up this one I haven't done it to yet this one I have trying to counteract how dark the colors make me sometimes I actually really like how this has turned out I'm using the Tarte Busy Gal Brows Double Duty Beauty Line Brow Gel in the shade Medium Brown because I don't really do much with my eyebrows they're big and bushy enough as it is the most I do is pluck the edges because I get stray hairs randomly I do this to try and knock off any powder or anything that has settled onto it after I do my foundation just like with the foundation on your lips it's not a good look normally my go-to mascara my favorite right now is the NARS Climax Mascara. This is this was my favorite for a long time. The Bad Gal Bang Benefit Bad Gal Bang. For months, this was my favorite. And then the NARS Climax came out and that one kind of stole the show. Take these out. Yeah, the NARS Climax came out and kind of stole the show for me. So I try and use this one when I can because I don't hate it. I never hated it. I still have to do my hair. Like, I still have to straighten it. Okay. All right. Well, that was a long process trying to get this filmed. I am, of course, not putting a lipstick on or a lip gloss on or anything like that. Um, do that at the last minute, personally. And the Fenty Beauty one I want to use is in my purse, which is out there and not in here, so. It's the Diamond Milk one. Anyways, I know this wasn't that exciting of a video, but I wanted to get, I wanted to film me getting ready, putting my makeup on to go to our bowling match, our bowling league that we have tonight. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Hope everybody has a great day. We'll see you later.